If you could move a light source fast enough, the rest of the world would still appear to be standing still. My name is Carlo Vanderua. I'm a photographer. I grew up with photography as an access point to discovering a lot about the world. I built a dark room in my parents' basement at like 10 years old. We had some unusual cameras in our house and I'd walk around as a kid trying to navigate through the mirror image in that ground glass screen. When my son Aiko was born, I started thinking a lot about lineage and identity and specifically this idea of collecting passing moments and forming them and reforming them in the present to create our histories or our identities and stories. And I think photography with its, its unique relationship to time made it a rich space in which to process some of those thoughts. I founded Satellite Lab to create technology that didn't exist, but that I wanted to work with. Tool sets to play with ideas about perception and time. Imagine a place that could create the opportunity for technology like that to be built and built upon so that we can look at the world in new ways. What we built at Satellite Lab is basically a way to freeze a single moment of time, but be able to move light sources around within that frozen moment. It's something that we do completely in camera, meaning there's no computer graphics involved. It's like a, a software hardware solution that runs off of Windows. The idea with the interactive portraits was to capture each of the musicians in a moment of creating sound. I wanted to make images that were both a single sub-second moment, but that were changeable through being viewed, that had both of those timelines embedded in them. There's really two sides to the project here. One is the creation of the imagery, and the other is the way that they're experienced in the space. We use Microsoft Connect to track your position in front of the image, which changes the appearance of the portrait. So between the musician and the audience, you both become complicit in the creation of the image, and technology becomes the conduit. I think our visual literacy is changing as we spend more time encoding and decoding images. And I think that makes an interesting space in which to intervene in this bombardment of images and ask people to look again, or to think again about how they used to see the world through photographs. 